QR codes may have been around for a while, but they are making a big comeback, especially when paired with the superpowers of ManyChat and chat marketing. Hi there, friend. My name is Kelly Noble Mirabella, and on behalf of ManyChat, I am excited to welcome you to this tutorial today, where I'm going to show you how to use ManyChat's growth tool feature to build a custom QR code that will lead users directly into your flows. QR codes are getting a brand new lease on life now that all the new smartphones on both the Android and the iOS systems are building in QR code readers directly in the cameras. These codes make it so easy to capture offline traffic at your place of business, at your events, your trade shows, and on products, and even in print ads, and move those people from the outside into your funnel for effective follow-up and conversion. So without further delay, let's jump into ManyChat, and I am going to show you how to create a custom QR code for your messenger bot. Let's do this. The first step is to head over to your left side menu and click on Growth Tools. And then up here at the blue button, click on New Growth Tool. The QR code feature is right here and it is a free feature. So you do not need to have ManyChat Pro in order to utilize the QR code. Just remember you have limits on how many growth tools you can have under the free account. So if you'd like more growth tools, just upgrade into the Pro. So we're gonna click on QR code. Go ahead and title your QR code. It's always a best practice to title your growth tools so you're able to easily access and find them. Now the first step in the QR code creation is actually to figure out where will people be directed. You have two choices. You can either edit the message that is automatically created for you or you can replace the message with an existing message. And these flows can be created just like any other flow, keeping in mind that since it is a growth tool, the end user is triggering a response or an interaction, and this opens up your 24 hour standard messaging rule. So you can send pretty much anything you want within the terms of service to the end users from this growth tool. In this case, I'm gonna just go ahead and edit this really quick for the sake of time. But again, if you wanted to click on replace, you could replace it with any of these flows that you have already created. So if I wanted to edit, I just click edit. It'll take me right into the flow. There is our growth tool for the QR code. Here is the message that we're gonna start creating. We would just build out our flow as usual. Now you'll notice up here where it says select messaging tag. That is to help you with compliance and you would be able to say no tag, post purchase update, confirmed event update or account update. In this specific case, you do not need to worry about a tag because as I mentioned, the growth tool is the 24 hour window opener, if you will. It is an interaction that initiates your 24 hours, so you do not need to worry about a tag, you will be just fine. So once you're ready with however you wanna create your messages, go ahead and publish, and then head back over to your QR code, and let's actually start designing our QR code. Now you can create a larger QR code. If you're gonna be using this for print marketing, obviously you're gonna want the largest image resolution. You can add an image logo in order to create a more custom QR code by dragging and dropping or by searching. Now you'll see a preview of your logo in the middle of your QR code. You can also select remove the background and you'll see it actually just creates the logo with the code behind it. That can be a little hard to read, so just play around with it in terms of how you want that design to look. You can also change the background color and the foreground color, the background being the white and the foreground being the black. So I can really truly customize this. I could use my hex codes here for the exact branding colors I might use, or I can play around with the colors on this color chart. And then once you're ready, you can download your image code and you could put that wherever it is that you want. Now, at this point, there are two very important things you need to do. First, you'll need to click save, and second, you're going to need to activate your code. You wanna make sure you do those two things or this will not effectively work and people will not be able to access your flow. 
there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit me with a thumbs up. If you have questions, comment below. And if you would like to have even more ManyChat tips, tutorials, and chat marketing awesomeness, be sure to subscribe to the ManyChat channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now, get out there and start building.